guys thank you so much for 700 subscribers i know i haven't been uploading recently to this channel uh but anyway i'm back stronger than ever uh with the help of my 700 subscribers um i thought i would give this channel a new refresh in terms of content so instead of just covering game tutorials on my channel i thought it would be a good idea to maybe cover some of the programs as well such as keynote here and today i'll be showing you how to make that uh badass intro that uh, i showed you guys earlier uh, it's quite kind of simple you just need a few uh, prerequisites to continue uh, you need to download these fonts nexus bold uh, and light they come in a set i'll provide them in the description below i need to download this uh, image this vignette thing uh, i also provide uh, the download link in the description box below and of course you need keynote for mac in order for this to work and now without further ado let's get started with the tutorial you want to go to file new uh, make sure you choose white and select uh, white as a template click on choose and you should be greeted by this uh, you want to get rid of these two placeholders here and you want to make sure on the format tab here and click on this uh, color circle and choose a slightly dark gray like so and now uh, you want to import uh, your channel logo into the into a workplace and now you want to navigate to a folder that contains your picture uh, once you have done that, you can just click on the image and just drag it across Keynote as I've done here. And now we'll add our first animation to this uh, channel logo. We go to Animate tab and click on Build In and choose Add an Effect. Uh, you want to make sure you select End View, it's under Special Effects here. And you can play around the duration if you're not fine with it, but uh, I'll just stay with the default duration for now. Now you want to type in all your text here and you want to click on this text button and you can see this text box just appear and you can just double click it and you can type in uh, the main uh, the main title of a channel which should take up the bulk of this video and you can click on this format tab make sure you select everything that's in the text box and choose next as the font and you can crank up the size for a bit and and if you want to play around with the spacing of the characters you can go to this gear button here and oops i uh, can select this character spacing uh, i can assign it a negative value to make it a uh, tighter and, and I would like to give it a bit of a variation in terms of the fonts, so I will just select this part here and just like so. And you want to play around with the colors. You want to make sure the color is applied to all the text, so you want to select everything and let me select the color. And to give it a bit of a shadow, you can go to style. And under shadows tab, you select this uh, drop shadow option from this drop down list. Um, play around the settings with the opacity. Okay, now we'll just copy and paste this text box here. And uh, this new text box will contain a short tagline for a channel that can describe a channel in a sentence or less. Okay, now that you have just typed in uh, your tagline. Uh, all I did was to change the color of this text and also change a bit of the font. Uh, and now once you have done, I want you to copy and paste this again. Uh, and you just want to copy and paste this uh, for maybe another two or three times or so. And in each of these text boxes will contain the, um, the videos that, that you put on our channel. For example, on this first line, I might want to have uh, game tutorials, a second one maybe some minecraft stuff or uh, basically you get the point, these text boxes will contain the types of videos that I upload on your channel so I'm going to do that right now and in case you're wondering how I managed to get these text to glow, I just basically changed the color of the 
shadow in the style tab here and now we can actually start animating this entire thing together so we will first click on this uh, this channel logo here and we can go to animate tab since we have already uh, added the flying effect here we will now have to make sure that it flies out so we will just click on build out and click on add an effect uh, select move out I think it's under um, it's just under appear and move section here and you want to make sure uh, it goes to the top you can see that it flies out way too slowly so we just decrease the duration so that it moves faster 0 0.5 should do fine here and now you want to click on this text and choose build in add an effect move in it's under appear and move section again and make sure it moves to the top and you want to adjust the duration to 0 0.5 again and you want to make sure that uh, this text flies in at the same time as the channel logo moves out so we want to go to build order and, and choose with build to under the start column and set the delay to about 0.3 or so okay now you want to add a flying effect for this uh, channel tagline here so you want to go to add an effect make sure it's under build in and select uh, let me see twist and scale and you can adjust the duration for a bit now you want to select this beam tutorial part here and choose add an effect lens flare now you want to make sure it disappears so that it, it can make way for this second line to appear so you want to go to build out add an effect uh, trace which is under special effects here Now you can see it moves way too slowly so we'll just uh, set it to around one second so that's a lot better and now you can click on this second line here and go to build in add an effect trace as usual now you want to make sure it's set duration to one second and you want to make sure it appears at the same time as this thing disappears so you want to go to build order again and choose with build 6 you can see something like this now you want to make sure this disappears again so that it can make way for the third line so you go to build out add an effect trace as usual adjust the duration because it's way too slow and you want to click on this last line and add your final building effect adjust the duration like so and go to build order again and set it to with the previous build there we go now we just want to uh, align all three text boxes together So now we just preview and see how it goes. Alright, up to now it's pretty good so far. Now you want to select this text here. We are going to create the epic flyout effects right now. So we we'll go to uh, the build out tab, choose add an effect and select fall apart which is under special effects here and now you want to select your tagline here choose build out again add an effect crumble which is under special effects also there we go I want to go to build order, scroll down, and make sure 
your tagline animation is highlighted and choose with the previous build and set the delay to about 0.3 or so now I want to make sure this last bit here also disappears so we just click on this text here and go to build out add an effect crumble Now you want to go to with the previous build so that it disappears together with the rest and it doesn't look out of place being the last. Now we want to add the vignette effect that fades in when this channel logo drops from the top. So you can scroll to the folder that, locate, that has your uh, image and just drag it into Keynote. And you want to scale it so that it covers the entire slide, like so. Right. Now you want to make sure uh, it fades in. So go to build in, add an effect, dissolve. Right. And as you can see, it just appears right at the end, but we want it to appear when the channel logo drops. So we just drag it to the top until we can see the very first animation here. We just go to choose with build one. Now you can see the vignette just appears as the channel logo drops. So that gives it kind of like a dramatic effect. And there you go guys, your very own amazing intro for your future videos. Thank you so much for 700 subscribers, it is an amazing milestone to achieve. Uh, given the fact that I haven't been uploading recently, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later.